70 centimeters tall. His official weight, 66.25 kilos. His veteran's record stands at 31 victories, opposite eight defeats. Fighting out of Mahachala, Dagestan, Russia. Here is Magomed Rasul Kasula. So we are set and ready. We look at the tail of the tape, height and reach on the side of Mahatvili. We look at the experience of the 33 year old Magomed Razul Hasbulayev and look at the intent in his eyes. Barely took his eyes off his opponent. Levan in the blue corner, black shorts. Magomed Razul, red corner, black and gold shorts. Me, Brian Lacey, alongside Brad Pickett, calling the action in Krasnodar for ACA 104. And you can feel the energy coming off Magomed Razul, right from running to make his way into the cage to not taking his eyes off his opponent. Yeah, he's it indeed. He's, he's a pocket rocket, a bundle of fun. Not always fun for his opponents, though, but there's a fun for us to watch. Two different energies coming from the two. Levan looking very relaxed, light on his toes. Yeah, Levan, is, Levan is very crafty, professional with his approach. And very, very good double leg. Well, I find he's going to find a little harder to do. He's got a lot of lower stance. He's going to find a harder to get here on the inside. Both an excellent wrestling, grappling pedigree. So we might find ourselves in a, a fist fight here, Brad. It's very rare you see a fight with neither of these two fighters looking to get that to the map. Uh, you, you saw uh, Levin's last fight when he fought Cole Fazzi. He was, very, he was quite interested on the feet at times. He had to choose to get his double leg to, to score on the ground. So I can see that if he picks this round, he's a bit close coming towards the last one of the round again. He may come in for a double leg to charge. But that's an easy task in some of like that this calibre of wrestling. Magomed Razul stepping in with that overhand right. Oh, nice right. It's met by Levan. The level of fight here at ACA is just unbelievable. We, we, we think about the fights we've already seen. And this fight here is still like halfway through the card. And Magomed Razul never been knocked out. Has been finished by submission. That chin has stood up to every test it has faced. Faint to the level change there, Magomed Razul. Yeah, you kind of see it with your style when you have that kind of like granite sort of chin. It's definitely level, that extra little level to your armor where you don't mind getting inside that pocket. Get, take one to give one. Yeah, he is walking down Levant. Levan McAvilly using his footwork very well to stay on the outside, trying to stay away from the, the power, the right hand, the power hand from, from Razul. But be careful though, they're here circling to his, to his, le to his left, to the, the right hand side. There you go, of Razul. Another inside leg kick from Magomed Razul. Oh, they met each other there now. Levan calling him on. He wants to start this fire between them. Oh, you see, you we'll see in the last couple of minutes. Max Belly is a very intelligent fire. He's gonna, he's, I've got a feeling he's trying to call him on, trying to get him to overcommit to one of his punches where he can try and get him in, to, to take this down to the mat. Yeah. Oh, he caught him then. It felt like he even blocked that, but it was just the power. Knocked him off his feet. Now they're in the clinch. Magomed Razul. Oh, the left hand's connected. And the right, Magomed Razul, called on by Levin Mahashvili. I think he's broken his nose, Brad, as well. Oh! Calling him on. That's a say, very, very, very risky thing to do. Magomed is up for that challenge. Levin regaining his composure. And that head kick coming up once again. Ooh. Yeah, they keep coming up so quick. 
Levan's doing a good job of covering him with one hand, but we saw that one hand blocking is sometimes not enough. That had a couple of good shots there of his own. How game is Levan now? This is oh. such an exciting fight. Feels like it really is starting to heat up now, and Levan swarming forward. Razul meets him with a left hand. Razul did a great job of throwing when, when Levan, Mascabelli is throwing as well, and just getting his head off that center line. That's the way we saw him oh. drop, drop Levan with a, with a beautiful, kind of like an overhand left. That's what he starts for a second, which he is now, he's in the south ball position. I like the body shot there from Levan. Just before that, another exchange, another left hand there from Frodo. His hands are deceptively quick. Oof. We have ourselves a fight, Brad. What a first round. It was tentative. Come. But then Levan Mahashvili got caught with the kick. Got dropped again with the left hand, but jumped straight back up and was calling on. Magomed Razul, an excellent back and forth between the two, and let's relive it right now. Yeah, I'm re really impressed with, with the dexterity and, and the speed of, of, of that uh, left high kick by Magomed Razul. You saw that he hit up so quick, but Magomed did a good job of keeping his hands up, blocking it, but only blocking it with one hand. I, I think that was more of a slip when you see it again as he comes back, but it was still a... But you heard it, Brian. You heard you it, heard yes. It. You don't see that in the replay, you heard it. The power that when you're bleeding, you probably on one hand, it's still the force that's coming through. So it's a kind of the force knocking him off balance. You see it a few times. This is where he hits in here with a. You can see, that's a bit there, but he landed a beautiful overhand left when he switched to a sub ball stance. Round two set to go underway here in Krasnodar. Levan, Makashvili, blue corner, black shorts, Magomed Razul, Hasbalaev, golden black shorts, red corner. This level of this fight is not disappointing here. Makash really, really sitting down on those shots. Oh, those leg kicks are starting to add up. When he came back to his corner, actually, Levan, he looked to be limping a little. He was, yeah, I noticed that as well, Brian. Watch the speed that Frodo has. And I'm sure watching right now back at home in Brazil will be featherweight champion Felipe Froes. Oh, that left hand caught Magomed Razul just on the temple as well. Yeah, let's put him on the back foot a little bit here. I mean, Levan needed someone like that to land. I think mean, he just got clipped there with a left hook himself. Oh, Careful. that inside leg kick once again. Can Magomed Razul be the first person to take Levan down? What a record that is as well, Brad. <laughs> Billy, in his 19 fights so far, no one has taken him to the mat. Especially the level of competition that he's faced as well. Oh, steps in with a lovely jab there. You can see the welt on the inside of the left knee there of Levan. Yes, and those again. Inside low kicks are definitely doing a lot of damage. That's the thing because it is his front, front, uh, front leg. He disguises it very well, comes up so quick inside, inside the leg here or up high. Oh. This really is both fighters digging deep, putting it all on the line for us here. Oh, he's caught him again. Every time he gets caught though, he can't let calls like a bad goes all on. He has a chin on him, Levan Mahashvili. Now looking for a takedown himself, can he complete this? Yeah, great hit shown here by Magomed Razul to defend that takedown. Two minutes, 45 seconds left in this second round. <laughs> what a contest. A testament to Max's really just the way. Marching forward, calling Frodo on. Oh, knee at the middle there from that Frodo. Makashvili, that wrestling pedigree. See if we can switch this around against the cage. So like we said, we come to expect when you have two high-level wrestlers, you get stuck with a striking match. But I'm actually impressed to see the striking. The striking is high-level too. Stri everything high-level. Unfortunately, the one 
thing that isn't was that low kick. Well, that wasn't high, that was low. <laughs> Now they start again, whoa, off they go. Punch for punch, kick for kick. How tough is Levan Makashvili? That leg is certainly compromised. Oh, the left hand's connected. And they swing again. Makashvili might smell blood here, but Hasbalaev has never been knocked out. Yeah, I mean, I need to watch that back, he's cooked again. Oh, he's looking for the takedown. Oh! Dr. Shaw, that class has a complete takedown. Head outside single yet again, gotta be careful about that. And now he separates. Fantastic physical chess match this is between the two. Both had each other rocked at certain times within the fight. Oh, and the crowd can feel this heating up as well. Oh, what a takedown. That was just beautiful timing there. Taking Magomed Rizul down is one thing, but keeping him down could be a different story. But he's done a good job. It looks like Magomed Rizul has kind of like accepted that being flat on his back. Good. Let's go, go back to saying the fight in our queue with Max Shvelli. Very important takedown rate in this round. And it's almost at ease, and that is no mean feat with the, the likes of Magomed Razul. Yeah, got him so deep with that. Passing the guard now as well, but... Oh, he's got a Kimura, can he switch this? Use that as and back to his feet. It's Ten seconds left, Brad. Oh. I would like to be in that position with him on my arm. Imagine that, uh, and look some at, sort of talk. Look at the knowledge of the crowd here applauding that get stand up from uh, Magomed Razul. Yeah, exactly that here over. We've had a great crowd here in Krasnodar at the Basketball Arena. And we have had two fantastic rounds. You see that Levin went back to his corner and winked. A more interesting round as far as scoring, Brad, with that one. Well, yeah, I mean, look, that, I would, if I was in uh, Levan's corner, I was thinking I'd have to go there and definitely get this next round. I, I would say probably as one apiece. But I'm no judge here, Brian. I'm only commentating. But definitely, this fight's dead, all up for grabs. And this is exactly why. Let's look at the exchanges between these two high level featherweights. Oh, rocks once again was Levan. So that was in, that, in this round. I think they both rocked each other. You'll see maybe in a later on clip here where Magomed Razul. Aspalayev gets a little bit clipped here, is it down there? Oh, yeah, there, there you go. go, yeah, that nice short left hook. Certainly stunned him. Yeah, kind of sent back, just stunned him, and this was a takedown attempt, which I, I would say not, not complete there. But we did, did, did show in the highlights there, but we did see Leva Maxibelli actually get the fight to the canvas where end of the round kind of ended up scoring heavily on that round as well. Round three. Take a breath, Brian, take <laughs> a breath. Take a breath. underway. I think we should have it like the electricity meters where you can, uh, the crowd can put some more money in here for one another round. My goodness, we have been treated to a real technical display from both these two. Nice left hook there from Levan kicking off this round. Oh! I don't know if that was more of a level change kind of thing. I don't think you'll hit that. Is he on the head outside single? Levan doing a good job trying to attack the neck, but we're doing so. He's got a beautiful takedown there. And that's the first takedown. As you're just about to say, Brian. Yeah, absolutely. That's the first one he's conceded in 19 fights. And now working his way back up. Look at the level of grappling, Brad. Exactly. As I come to expect, even though he got taken down, he was not going to accept that. Not one bit. And in a 50 50 position, both in the same sort of position here. And now Frodo working on the neck of Levant. You saw it, I mean, like, that, that Magomed was all taken down there. It was beautiful. It reminds me of, like, a Daniel Cormier, where, where you go for head outside single. Someone goes for a guillotine. You, you have to get him lift them up high as a, in the high clutch. And now Magomed was all still hanging on to that neck. Yeah, Levan's doing a good job. Just, just prize that hand away. You might see him trying to do a peek out or arm drag. Oh, and now look at that, just breaks the grip. But Frodo, Magomed Razul, relentless with this pressure. 
And that's testament to their cardio. This has been a high-paced, high-action fight so far. To have this much energy for the grappling realms is still testament to what they've put in outside of this before, outside of the cage to get ready for a fight like this. Yeah, especially when you saw uh, Le Levan matches Billy with the weight cut. He had to do it a number of times. But even though he was in great spirits, winking and laughing, you know, shows shows the professionalism. You know, takes the fight very seriously. You got to get in great shape. Good level change. Good take down defense there. Great hip shown here. Yeah, again, trying to reshoot while he's still connected. Trying to, trying to secure his second takedown. Not quite there. But still scoring because he, he's doing a good job here of just keeping Max's belly up again. Oh, oh, that's a low one. That was clean. Oh, instantly you saw Magomed Rasul drop. I think that might have done both of them a favor, getting a little bit of a break. Well, that's the other thing. How long does Magomed Razul want to give Levan? Or himself, to be honest, he may he may want to choose to have a little break himself to try and recharge that battery. Well, you can see there that name was very clean. You can see how uncomfortable uncomfortable Magomed Razul is. We'll have five minutes. Should he want to take that amount of time? You can hear the corner there of a. Uh, Levin Mahashvili, they're calling, they say he needs a knockout, he needs a knockout in this round, he has to finish Magomed Razul, who is really struggling on the other side of the cage. Firm warning there from Matt. Uh, yeah, I can't see, see it. Can't. Oh, he really is struggling though, Brad. Really is struggling on the other side. Still on his knees, that clock is ticking. Oh, deep is nodding his hand, nodding his head. Be nice if we have a look back at, at that blow to see. <laughs> I think you're the only man on the planet who said it <laughs> who thinks it would be nice to look back at that. The doctor will come and uh, oh, the doctor's coming to talk to uh, Magomed Razul. This will be unfortunate if it comes to an end here. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what will happen if he, do, he, he can't continue because he wasn't like. Uh, wasn't you, you, here we go. Here's your wish, Brad. Thank you. I'll close my eyes. Tell me when it's over. It's not a very good angle. I want a better angle. Oh. And that's twice. Oh. Doctor talking to Magomed Razul. We'll let you know what we've got coming up next. We have a superb set of cards coming up through March and into April. March 6th, we're in Almaty for ACA 105. 106 will take place in St. Petersburg, March 24th. And then ACA 107 will happen in Moscow. On April 7th. Well, got to think of not only the low blows, and what mentally is this done to uh, Magomed Rizal, who's starting off really well within this last and final round, where you could say is around the piece. We're going to have to wait and see, because now, also, what will it do mentally for Levan? Magomed Rizal shaking his head. Levan, his corner was saying he needs the knockout. This is going to see him push even harder, I believe. Yeah, he's had some breath, a good few minutes, Brad. Yeah, Levan's got a thing he's been talking through his corner. He's going to come out like a man possessed. He has half of this round, two minutes, 25 seconds exactly to uh, to make something happen. Trying to get in now, try, probably try and get his own takedown. Magomed Rezul once again looking for a takedown of his own. Levan did a good job trying to st stop it with the underhook on the left side. His right arm blocking the head. Did a really good job of defending. Oh, now elbows, elbows coming in now. Look at the balance on that Mega Levan. Still refusing to give up this position now. Magomed Razul in front of us on his back. 
Uh, Levan's got to try and fight the grip. So he is doing so, but now he's got to stand up and fight, put the pressure on. He's now to his corner. In the corner are urgent. They, they know he needs to make something happen here now. One minute, 30 seconds left in this third and final round. Slowly working his way back to his feet, but Magomed Razul breaking that base, just staying heavy on the back. Yeah, we see Magomed do this to many opponents, just like hang on them, make them carry all his body weight. Just do enough there. He's not, you see, you see, he doesn't really want to let go of that grip. He's just using strikes now, only with his legs, little knees, trying to stay busy. But the clock is now the enemy of uh, Levan Makashvili because that is ticking and those seconds are disappearing quick. Good job of trying to fight, fight the grips here. Maybe he might try and go for a choke. He's going to go for a ride here, but he's trying to sink in something. And so he's trying to set that front choke up, but without the, uh, the back of his opponent against the cage. And now some frustration on the face there of Levan Makashvili. Frodo tying up those legs. A little bit of frustration creeping in here. Yeah, and shouting here, you, you can tell the frustration. It's no easy task getting someone like Magomed Razul off your legs, especially when he's got him trapped here in, in, in a sizzle like. So now we go to the judges' scorecards. But what a fight that was been. Oh, and they're still not happy with each other. Magomed Razul refusing to let those legs go. He's very unhappy. With Levin Makashvili. Yeah, that was interesting, Ed. I don't know what, why there was no bad blood coming in. It this was fight. the knees, mate. I think the knees, Brad, sorry. I believe that he was very upset about those, felt he was compromised. And now you can see just how upset Levin Makashvili is. But what a, I mean, especially those first two rounds, what a performance they both put on for us here in Krasnodar. Yeah, you can see how uh, angry Levin is. You know, not only to. Potentially lose this five months. I'm sure we ain't, we ain't got the judge scorecards collected in yet, but you see the frustration on his face he was in that fight. But then also with Magomed kind of getting in his head, saying some stuff. Not going to bode very well. But you can see that Magomed Razul, Ashbalayev, still kind of like upset with that groin strike. Judges, score cards are being collected here at ACA. We have five judges scoring on the back. We have no draws here at ACA. We have to have the winner. Herb Dean's calling him in the middle. Let's hand it over to Jeff Houston to make this one official. Магомед Расул, скажи, пожалуйста, какие твои впечатления от действий твоего оппонента? Видно было, что ты не очень доволен тем, что происходит. Добрый вечер, Краснодар. Салам алейкум всем. Салам алейкум всему Дагестану, который смотрит, переживает. Всем огромное спасибо. В первую очередь хотел бы поблагодарить глава республики Чеченской республики Рамзана Ахматовича Кадирова за большой вклад в развитие спорта, э, за поддержку, за помощь, за все. И что касается соперника, да, 
действительно у меня чуд удивил. Я не ожидал, что он будет так хорошо со стойки работать. Этим у меня чуд удивил. В первом раунде, конец раунда, чуд пропустил. Удар по... Ну, это запрещенный, конечно, удар. Это меня чуд остановило, тормознуло. И хочу поблагодарить еще всех моих братьев, которые рядом всегда со мной. Э, моего тренера Заурова Шамиля. Это настоящий патриот своей республики. Это настоящий брат. Э, это наш наставник. Спасибо ему большое. И спасибо, хочу сказать спасибо всему клубу, чем, э, всему клубу Ахмад, где мы выступаем за... Ну, Какую мы представляем клуб, они для нас очень много делали. Спасибо Абузадеву Смирадову Джандаровичу за помощь всегда и перед боями, и после турнира всегда нас радует теплыми словами, поддерживает нас. Всем большое спасибо, которые сюда приехали, всем братьям Дагестана. Всем огромное спасибо. Извините, конечно, что так ярко не получилось выступать. Ну, иногда бывают такие тоже моменты, ну, я тоже чуть неправильно, может, тактику подобрал. Э, все равно всем большое, большое спасибо. Приятно, что вы здесь, рядом, всегда, в такую минуту. Всем огромное спасибо, Баркала, всем. Frankly speaking, my opponent surprised me and uh, there was a legal shot, but nevertheless, I want to thank lots of fans from Dagestan and all who have come here. That, that puts you four fight win streak. Felipe Froes is in Brazil. He hopefully will be back in action soon. Is that the fight you want next? Felipe Froes wants to return. Is that the opponent you will see in your eyes? На самом деле этот соперник меня сильно удивил. Я не думал, что он настолько будет хорош, что он сможет меня повалить. Да, на самом деле он хороший борец, и он меня удивил. Ну, все равно, каждый день, когда я хожу в зал на тренировку, я все равно перед собой ставлю такую цель, что надо э, забрать пояс э, у действующего чемпиона и... Все равно на другим бойцом, когда я хоть даже готовлюсь, у меня в голове бывает все время представление боя, кто чемпион, как его выиграть, и всегда настраиваюсь на него. Frankly speaking, Philip Froes really surprised me by his wrestling, but every day while I'm training, I'm keeping focus on belts, and that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, give it for Magomed Rasul Hasbulayev. Еще хочу сказать спасибо всем братьям, которые сюда приехали из Дагестана. Поддержат. О, там я вижу руки. О, ассаламу братья. Очень приятно, что вы здесь. Здесь еще присутствует мой отец, где-то вот там. Ахамбуля, все нормально. Магомед Расул, Хасбулдаев! There we have it. Hard-earned victory here by Magomed Razul Hasbalayev against a very tough and game opponent in Levan Maskevelli. Yanni unanimous decision win that puts him on a four-fight winning streak. His only two losses of recent in his last like 12 fights have been against Salaman Abudayev, who just lost to Felipe Perez. So. With that saying, you know, he, he put himself in definitely in, in target, in target protection and three prefers if he's watching his back to see a lot of dangers in, in, in a, an opponent like Magomed Razul Hasbalayev. Uh, Magomed Razul Hasbalayev has made no secret.